This is Aaron with anetcomputers.com with another video for you today. How to use ChatGPT image and search. As you can see on screen, this comes directly from the source as I almost always go directly to the source whenever I can. This comes from openartificialintelligence.com which was the original developer of Chat Generative Programming. It's, a, it's an acronym, you know what I'm saying? It says here, browsing is now out of beta. So now you can browse. What that means is that prior to this announcement, ChatGPT was basically behind. The data was from September of 2020, you know, a few years ago. You know what I'm saying? Now ChatGPT has internet access. This is only available to Plus and Enterprise users. Okay, they now if you're a ChatGPT Open Artificial Intelligence Plus or Enterprise user, all you would do now is choose the Browse with Bing from the Generative Programming, and then the acronym continues. Version number four, Model Selector. Dur during beta, you had to toggle the Browse. Now you just choose Browse with Bing. So that is one way that you can create images and search the internet or you know ask the artificial intelligence robot questions. And then as you can see here, DALI 3, now DALI, I think that is an acronym. DAL E3 is the image creation tool. That is now available also. All you do is ask chat generative programming what kind of image you want. You know what I'm saying? And let's see. It doesn't really tell you where. Oh, here it is. Now you can use DALI 3, which is the image creation tool, on both the web interface and mobile, the smartphone application. You would choose DALI 3 in the selector under the generative programming version number four. Okay, the message limit may vary. Okay, that's how that so that's how you use ChatGPT image and search. However, if you do not have a plus and or enterprise subscription, what you can do is you can try it with Bing because actually Bing now Bing has its own chat engine. However, the search feature uses generative programming from artificial intelligence from open artificial intelligence company so what you would do is browse to bing.com now you would just browse to bing.com and you would see you should see ask me ask bing or whatever i i disabled that because it's annoying right here where my mouse cursor is at uh, right where the lake would be at in this background you would see ask what is it ask me or ask Bing or whatever there's a button there if you don't see it you click on the Bing little logo the little question the little chat icon here and it'll take you to the exact same page so this is where you can at, use Bing for free and it does use the generative programming interface that OpenAI it, it's limited though you know what I'm saying but you can so you would, there's what, three different options here. And then it says, oh, that's right, ask me anything. I think that's the button that you'll see. Ask me anything or ask Bing anything or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you would just type in your question and, you know, ask it to create an image. Now there's a free website that I use sometimes called talkai.info. And it does incorporate into ChatGPT. It is free. You do not need to register. It could change in the future, but for now, you could either click on Try ChatGPT, which allows you to use the search feature, and you just ask and enter your question. Let's see. What, what temperature... What temperature... Temp Temperature. <laughs> what temperature 
was it in Chicago today? You just you just want to try to ask it questions that it will have to you know use the internet and it won't use. Oh, because it constantly changes. Okay, let's see. What is today's date? Whoops. Okay. So ba so what I'm saying is, oh, it's it's off. Okay, it's off. But now this is a free website. It's it's incorporated. It does use chat generative programming. However, you know what I'm saying? And then this just rolled out. So th this website may or may not, you know, have accurate information, but you could test it out. You can also ask it to create an image. Please create an image of an automobile. Okay. And then see what it, what it comes up with. Oh. Uh, now I, I have used this before and it did create an image. Let's see, please create an image of a create an image of a telephone. Hmm. Uh, oh my bad, what am I doing? Duh. <laughs> I'm my bad. I'm trying to I have about a minute left. Okay. You click on the image creator, okay, the image generator. The same thing you can do with, with Bing. Now, it's real easy. You just go to bing.com, click on the Ask Me Anything, or click on the icon. Then in the search box, you just ask it. Or let's, let's see if, please create an image of an auto mobile now you can get really descriptive you can you can ask it you know maybe you can ask it to create a certain size image or you know what i'm saying i'll try to create that okay and oh all right you have to sign in but you notice it did try to create it yeah i'm not going to sign in okay you have to sign in to create images okay all right well i'm not going to but it looks like it does work so if you, you just sign into your Microsoft Bing account. Now, I know this works. So you browse to talkai.info. There are other free ChatGPT tools. You could certainly try it with them and see. Just ask some questions in the text chat that would be, you know. That's my eight-minute mark. Uh, my eight minutes are up. Just ask questions that would require current data because now it uses the internet. At one time, ChatGPT, from my understanding, the beta, it was it didn't have internet access at all. It was not even programmed into it. I, I don't think or they disabled it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where the data came from, but the data was uh, like a couple years old. So to me, it was like what worthless. What's the point? Okay. So let's click on the image generator and you just it's just like the 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 you know chat where you ask questions and demand answers I mean please create an image of an automobile mobile and then it may take a while it takes a little while you know it may take a minute 30 seconds whatever the images may not be the greatest, but okay, so that's not the greatest, but the first time I used this talkai.info, it created a real car. Yeah, I mean, it was real. This is kind of a cartoon, but you just have to play it around, play around with it. Again, this is a free interface, so me, I don't really expect it to give you results that that the open AI if you want, you know, better access, you would want to purchase either a plus or enterprise subscription to OpenAI. Now, I don't think at one time OpenAI had a free chat version, but I think they've disabled that and I could be wrong. I don't think they have rolled it back. They may never roll it back. I think now it's primarily subscription only, but there are other tools that interface with ChatGPT. I'm not sure if they subsidize it or I'm not sure how, but 
it, it, but for, for, for now, it seems to be acceptable. And that's it. That is how to use ChatGPT image and search. Adios.